the green mamba, basilisks, giant pythons, curious chameleons, just some of the many live lizards and snakes crawling around the American Museum of Natural History's returning exhibit. Curators have assembled more than 60 live creatures, including the spiny eastern water dragon, whose unique jaw structure separates it from the pack. Their teeth are fused to the lower jaw, and they, when they bite, it's like pinking shears, so they actually slice. Uh, it's, a, it's a precision bite, so they can bite through things very, very well. An enormous rhinoceros iguana often basks in its enclosure's warmth and is already feeling right at home. And this large enclosure here, he really liked it, and he did something he's probably never done in his entire life in, in captivity, which is he set up a territory. So now if you open up that door, he uh, actually takes great umbrage at, at, at people coming in there with him. But uh, uh, he does well, he's a, he's, a, he's a happy guy. The water monitor, bearing its saber-like teeth. Remarkable animals, they're, they're hunting machines. They're, they are like sight hounds, they actually see what they're working on, but they're also really good at chemo reception. So they can move into the water, they can eat on, on the land, they can take things out of the water, they're just remarkable. Easily hidden, the Gabon Viper proves a highly venomous snake fangs an inch long, over an inch long, can inject like, like a fluid ounce of venom. You don't ever want to be bit by one of these things. Perhaps the most unique lizard in this collection is the veiled chameleon, sporting 3D-like vision. When you see them when they're hunting, those eyes, both those turrets will come around and then they'll get binocular vision on whatever they're going to shoot their tongue at so they can actually see in 3D. All of these fascinating reptiles are on display in Lizards and Snakes Alive at the American Museum of Natural History. Come discover all that this live exhibit has to offer. The central thing about this exhibition is that not only will you learn a lot about the evolution of, of squamates, you'll learn a lot about the diversity. 